Hey everybody, Keenan Phillips here, back with another TT School video, and I finally changed outfits, so this is our second shoot, sorry for the hat, I haven't had a haircut in about three months, you can see the wings coming out the side, uh, but I hope everybody's staying safe and healthy, and uh, got another TT School video coming, so here we go. So today's lesson is going to be about wedge flex and iron flex, and if I play a certain flex in my irons, should I play that flex in my wedges? And there's actually no wrong answer with this, so we see about a 60-40 split on tour with this. So 60% actually drops down from their iron flex to wedge flex, where the other 40% maintains the same flex throughout. So it's all personal preference really and what you prefer from a feel standpoint. Um, now a club I would really focus on with this though is a gap wedge. So for instance, I like to drop down from my irons to wedges for a flex, but my gap wedge I keep the same flex as my irons because I hit a lot of full shots with my gap wedge. So if you're a player that hits a lot of full shots with your gap wedge, I'd look at maybe keeping that same flex as your irons and then potentially dropping down your sand wedge and lob wedge to a softer flex. But once again, if you keep the same flex throughout, no wrong answer there, just whatever you prefer from a feel standpoint. But just a little tidbit, because a lot of people have questions about that, so hope this lesson helped you guys, and see you next time.